you know, the threat of wildfire is tremendous if you have too many dead trees out there. <laughs> Landowner Carol Lee says she fears the repercussions the mountain pine beetles bring with their infestation. When it's very dry, I haul up my sprinkler system and water all my trees and keep them well watered. <laughs> Lee says she's tried thinning out smaller trees on her land, leaving the larger, healthier ones to grow. Pine beetle expert Ryan Bracewell urges landowners to learn which trees are on their land and how susceptible they are to infestation. We have sick forests in a sense in some areas and we have climates that are beneficial to the beetle uh, and they can overwhelm the trees and, and build up into large populations. The one that was attacked this summer is going to be Pitch tubes are some of the first signs that a tree has been infected by the mountain pine beetle but landowners can fight back through a variety of methods. Learn to recognize the signs and symptoms of a mountain pine beetle attack. Practice prevention by removing infested trees. And protect trees by spraying trunks with an insecticide or applying a repellent pheromone. Mother Nature's gonna come in and say, come on, pine beetles, clean up my forest for me, and, and it's gonna kill, I mean, it's, it's kind of a natural process. Uh, According to the U.S. Forest Service, in 2010, roughly 10 percent of Montana's forests were infested. Reporting for UM News, I'm Faith Cronin.